Hey guys, it is Jack here, that vegan dad. Today I want to be showing you a fridge slash pantry tour of what we have in our house for our vegan families. My wife and I and our two young vegan kids. It's probably a good time to show you what is in my pantry at the moment. With this current possibility that we'll be going into a lockdown due to the coronavirus. I haven't really stressed too much about buying excessive items because of the lockdown. If you are well aware of my channel, you will know that I do my grocery hauls at the start of the month and they generally last us for about four or five weeks, possibly longer, depending what we have purchased. We are generally pre-purchasing a lot of items anyway, so we have our pantry pretty well stocked. I've always wanted to do one of these videos for you guys to see a bit of an insight of what we have in our pantry and fridge. So this is probably a better time than any to show you guys a closer look of what is in that bad boy behind me and in our pantry. So without further ado, I will just grab this camera here and let's have a look into the fridge. I don't know what the best way to do this is, but I'll do it shelf by shelf. But up the top here, as you can see, we've got some two minute noodles. My wife generally only eats that, but we've got a few of them on hand. Got some white choc cocoa pops. And then we've also got a big box of the veggie chips for the kids as a snack. But more importantly, what is in the fridge? So what we do, we buy a lot of fresh produce every week, about $60, $70 each week, and we cut up heaps of snacks for the kids. So we've got some rock melon in here. The, the kids absolutely love rock melon. I'm not a big fan on rock melon at all. So that's all for the kids. We've got a big tub of grapes, but over here, really great, really loving. At the moment, the almond butter, we're chucking that into the kids' smoothies. The fat in the almond butter, peanut butter, is really great for their development. So we've bought, started buying more of the almond butter now. So I'm pretty sure it's about $10 from Costco. So really good value. And almond butter tastes delicious. I love almond butter. So over here, just a big tub of the maple syrup. You know, if we're having pancakes, I add it into a lot of recipes as well to give it a bit of sweetness. So that is really handy and something that we purchase quite a bit to have in the fridge. As you can see here, we got one, two, and one tucked away here. Three tubs, different size tubs as well of the Nutlex butter. This one is almost empty. This one is from Costco. Woolies and Coles have just recently released the one kilo tub. And then we've also got, for strange reason, 500 gram one so we've got plenty of that on hand ready to go but use that quite a lot into different baking different sort of recipes and just on sandwiches or on toast so going to be using this up quite regularly a couple tubs of hummus you can never have a lot enough hummus we actually got this one from a friend that came over they left the hummus there it wasn't open so we scored a tub of hummus just some vegan mayo don't really eat a lot of this, but once open, you know, this normally lasts a couple months anyway, so that'll last us perfectly fine for the next two months. Over here, got a couple different yogurts here. This one is just being released in Coles. I haven't tried it before. It's a massive brand in the UK, I'm pretty sure, so that everyone always raves about it. So I am really keen to try what that one tastes like. And this one, has also just been released in Woolies. So I love the Nicola brand, so I'm really keen to see how this one tastes as well. I love blueberries, so blueberry yogurt would be really delicious. And as per usual, the Nicola almond and coconut milk yogurt is very delicious, so we buy a couple tubs of them. This is our last one left until we probably buy some more, maybe in a couple of weeks. So our boys love the yogurt, I love yogurt, so Really great to have a couple tubs of them on hand. And obviously over here, you cannot go wrong with having some CCs ready to go in the fridge. Just down here, these have just been recently released in Woolies. Haven't tried them before, curry puffs, so really keen to see what they're about. 
Um, they've got some other dumplings out. Got gaizolas as well, which are really tasty. So I'm sure these are gonna taste delicious as well. Just some leftovers. We've got some rice, we've got some noodles, some quinoa, some mashed potato, and I've made a massive cauliflower curry in there. We have a lot of leftovers and we do not let any food go the waste. So, you know, we'll chuck in maybe some of the noodles with the boys' dinner. There's something else to go with their main meal as well. They love noodles, they love mashed potato, they love it all. So having leftovers, we do quite a lot and we do eat probably about 99% of our leftovers. Over here, just a couple. We've got some soy milk. And we've also got some oat milk. We buy the long life milk because they last longer and we bulk buy them. So we have a couple in the pantry as well, which I'll show you. But on this side, just got some bits and pieces. So lime juice, lemon juice. Got some tomato sauce down here as well, barbecue sauce. A couple of those condiments in the fridge. They do not belong in the cupboard. Got some more hummus, the yummiest hummus. This is what we get from Costco. This is pretty much almost empty. So I'll probably be finishing that today. Got some snack packs of the boys hummus. They just come in little packets like this. So easy to travel and go out with. And you know, they love the little convenient size. Been trialing out this vegan cheese recently. Bought it from Costco, a big 650 gram packet of the cheese got some cucumber bought this from costco recently as well this is unopened in in the fridge just in case of emergency and in these tubs here we've got just some flax some chia seed grinded up um, it's best to keep your grinded up flax and chia seed in the fridge if you didn't know that it helps oxidates it a lot better got your hemp seeds in there, really good for you. And over here in this department over here, got four of the tofus from Aldi. We got some tahini, some mustard in there as well. So plenty of stuff. We've got some baby beets in the fridge that we'll use. And on this side, we've got plenty of fresh veg in there. So we've got some mushrooms that I've just bought recently. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of meals with the mushrooms. And we've got so much broccoli in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine heads of the broccoli. Got some carrots in there. Got some more of the hemp seeds. Now, I'm just gonna go down further. I'm not gonna get down that low showing you from this angle, but we're gonna have a look into the freezer now. Just flipped it around showing you inside our freezer. So just got some of these spring rolls. Great to have, they last quite a while for us. It's a great snack to just whip into the air fryer or oven if you press for time and the kids love them as well. Just some hot chips. Down there, you'll know that I love using puff pastry. Do pinwheels, do pies. So it is really convenient to have a lot of the sheets of them. Under here, got some of the mission wraps. So what I do, I just freeze them when I purchase them and just use a couple every so often. Got some coconut yogurt from Aldi. Very delicious. If you have not tried it, great value. Pretty sure it's only $4 a tub and really delicious. Got a couple of drumsticks in there as well. I'm surprised there's actually two of them in there that they've lasted that long. Just some bread in the freezer just in case. Got some frozen berries in here. A massive packet, two kilo packet from Costco. So we've got a couple packets of them on hand ready to go. Got some corn and I freeze my tempeh. So I've got two packets of the tempeh in here, frozen, ready to go. Really loving the tempeh at the moment. So what I am doing is buying a couple, chucking them in the freezer, and have them on hand. So down here, this is pretty much all our frozen veggies. So just got our hot chips here, only a couple left in there, but as I said, mostly our frozen veg. So some blueberries, but also some raspberries down there. Got some edamame, got some 
green peas, your green beans, got some corn, some broccoli right down there, and some more green beans. Just down here, we've also got frozen, uh, frozen up some burgers of from the fries family so these I haven't tried these before recently up until recently and they are really delicious more frozen veg on this side some brussels sprouts more peas just some turkish bread rolls that whip out every so often when I'm making soups and down here oh you gotta have one of these on hand ready to go whenever these is really delicious from plant asia the roast pork Love the roast pork at the moment. Buying that probably once a month at the moment. So in this tub here, just got some frozen yogurt snacks ready for the kids. So they've just got some strawberries, some yogurt, and a little crumb base here. So they'll last quite a while in the freezer. Anyone who has kids would know how important it is to have some snacks ready to go. But that is the fridge and freezer. Now I'm gonna show you our pantry. Ready, time. To open up this pantry to show you guys what's inside. So plenty of canned stuff in here. Just whip this up a little bit. So top shelf, plenty of diced tomatoes in there. Buy these from Costco. They come in a massive 12 pack. Haven't really been using it very often over the last couple of months. So that's why there is plenty of diced tomatoes in there. But over here, got some dry blueberries, rice, green split peas, really great to have. Make a lot of good soups with that. We've got some mix, we've got some mixed nuts in there. Got some pecans, of course some cashews, and some more rice as well. In these containers we keep quinoa. As you can see here, plenty of quinoa. Really great to have some quinoa on hand plenty it'll last a long time as well a lot of these containers are a little bit empty at the moment but we normally put our like our flax in there chia seeds here we've got some savory yeast flakes or the nutritional yeast sesame seeds lsa mix as well really great to have on hand quinoa flakes couscous desiccated coconut and some bicarb soda ready for any kind of baking that i want to do so as you can see, more canned stuff in here. Plenty of different beans. We've got some chickpeas, we've got black beans. We've got some lentils back behind here. We've got some red kidney beans down here. We've got two of these young jackfruit. These are really great. I've been experimenting a little bit with these recently and it has come out really delicious. We've got some tomato paste down here, a couple of them. Got some coconut milk to make up some food bases. Got some tin spaghetti. Got some uh, TVP here as well. And then I don't know if you've seen these guys before, but these are a new range of soups from Continental, which are vegan. There's a few different ranges in there, but really great to have these in the pantry for a quick snack. Serves one, pretty cheap. And we've got about six in there. Bought, bought this recently as well. I've never tried the Luma tuna before. I normally make a nice tuna myself with chickpeas, but some people have been banging on about how great this tastes. So I'm actually interested to see how this goes. I might try this later. Yeah, massive soy sauce in there, just at different sauces. Sesame oil, got some vegetarian oyster sauce, which is vegan friendly, which you can get from Woolies. And I'm pretty sure Coles as well. Just, of course, the olives. The kids love the olives, so we've always got to have a jar in the pantry, ready to go. Got some apple cider vinegar, really great to have. You can make some really great tasting pancakes with apple cider vinegar. Make a lot of bakery sort of stuff. Cakes, all sorts of stuff with the apple cider vinegar. It's really great, essential to have in your pantry. Just got a pre-mixed uh, packet here of the dal, plenty of different packets of pasta up here. You've got some wholemeal pasta, lower carb pasta, which is vegan, haven't tried that before. Got some vegan gnocchi. If you haven't seen this before, I'm pretty sure it's in Coles, really delicious. Got some black beans, like that I just have to boil up myself in there. Some pulse pasta, some pasta sheets, and some risotto rice, so well 
and truly well stocked. Try to keep a good amount of pasta on hand and rice. Even though we don't eat a lot of rice and pasta, it is always great to have on hand. And I find making pasta meals are really easy and simple to make. So if you press for time, whipping up a delicious pasta meal is pretty straightforward. Oh man, I gotta get on the ground for this, but just some peanut butter, a couple bits of the peanut butter. An essential component in every Australian's pantry is the Vegemite, of course. Back here, just got the rice malt syrup as well. Kind of like honey, add some sweetness into your meals or whatever you're putting together. Over here, I don't know if you've seen this before, it is exactly, definitely better than Nutella. I am addicted to this. Low in sugar, great tasting, palm oil free. This is a great hazelnut spread, very delicious. Chuck it on some bread, on some toast, or just get a spoon and eat it out of whatever. Some more nuts down here, just some peanuts. Over behind me, just got some oats, rolled oats ready to go in a container. Got some almonds, and the other two normally are for sultanas and dates, which we don't have any of. Got some of the wheat biscuits that you get from Aldi. If you haven't heard before, these are much healthier than the wheat bix, less sugar, and better value as well in terms of price. Cup cones, just for the novelty, if we were giving our boys some ice cream. Big tub of tomato sauce to keep us going, some tea bags. Plenty of soy milk, oat milk, long life milk in there. Got some another packet of rolled oats on hand. Always convenient to have. And then I've got some, what's this over here? So it's got some green lentils that I've put together, some pistachios, more nuts, and then I have a range of different protein powders. This one is great tasting from Arbon, and you know, I find it does help supplement some of my smoothies at times. So I've got a couple of them on hand ready to go. So that is pantry number one. Now I'm gonna show you our second pantry full of even more stuff, so let's go. And here is pantry number two. Let's get into this one. So plenty of stuff in here. Just got some Skittles, just as a treat. Some cookers, which are vegan friendly, really delicious as well, from Sweet William. Got some Easter eggs ready to go for the kids. Two packets of them. So more lollies, the Sour Patch Kids Cola, newly released, vegan friendly. More of the Sweet William chocolates ready for Easter. Really prepared here for our next Netflix night with four packets of the popcorn, which are vegan friendly. Over here, these are pretty cool. If you haven't seen them from here, um, from Allgram, they are the vegan easy eggs. So we've got a couple of packets of these on hand and just make up some easy eggs or add them into meals. It makes it really simple to make up some quiche or some, I guess like scrambled eggs. All right, down back here, we've got some cruskets, two packets of the cruskets, great to have. Got some rice cakes, rice cake in there, the quinoa rice cakes. Udon noodles, we've got four packets of the udon noodles in there. We've got some rice, some sushi rice in there. Our different herbs and spices down here. Got some liquid smoke on hand. Got some stock cubes. They are always great to have on hand, ready to go. Some delicious rice snacks. So they are pretty delicious and really convenient for the kids or my wife. This gravy is the bomb. Best gravy around, I feel. But we've got some flour. Got some almond flour as well. These great delicious snacks for the kids if we need a snack, but these last a while. These are from Costco, little animal crackers. And then plenty of these snacks down here. All they are are just some rice rolls. Just got some maple syrup to hold them all together and they just are puffed rice. So the kids love them as a snack. Plenty of them in there. Some more flour, some sugar and just all our different components for baking. So plenty of stuff in there. And it's probably more of our snack sort of pantry, whereas the other pantry, it was more of our components for dinners. You do not honestly realize how well stocked you are up until the point you do one of these pantry and fridge tours. I am gobsmacked by how much we have here that is definitely gonna last us perfectly fine 
during a lockdown or quarantine or whatever, you're still gonna be able to go to the supermarket, so do not stress that you're gonna run out of food. And it's probably more, if you're gonna be quarantined for a couple of weeks, you cannot leave the house, having a couple of weeks worth of items on hand, you know, isn't a bad thing to do anyway, and then top it up with some fresh fruit and veg. Anyway, this has been our family of four pantry slash fridge tour. So hopefully, you know, you can get a bit of an insight of all the different items that we put together and have on hand and some of the snacks. And hopefully you really enjoyed this little insight into our family. If you enjoyed the video, chuck us a like, comment below, and as always, subscribe to the channel. For more videos like this, I might do a couple more of these pantry chewers. I really enjoyed this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys very soon.